Bonnie from Honey Jam here with Verb Girl. Honey Jam had another successful year, and I just wanted to know, what do you think of this year's Every year, what always changes is that the artists um, are more professional and more ready, ready for their close-up, ready to get signed. So that's always a pleasure to know that we keep upping the ante in terms of the level of talent that's at the show. And one big difference this year, we have our youngest artist ever, uh, Jacqueline Kenyon. She's 12 years old. Uh, most of the artists are between, say, 18 to 25. But she's 12, so she's going to be performing for the first time, and uh, we're really looking forward to her performance. Um, what else is Honey Jam offering women? So first and foremost, the show is a showcase. So it's an opportunity to be seen and heard by fans, by the media, and most importantly, people in the music industry who can help you get to that next step. Like a manager, an a and person at a label, a talent scout, an agent, those types of people. Um, so that's the main thing that we do as well. In addition to that, we have an educational component. So um, we have, we spend a full day uh, talking about grant writing proposals, we do a vocal workshop, we talk about management, we bring down an established artist and do a Q&A so that the girls can ask that artist about their journey and how they got to that point. So we've got the showcase, the honey jam, we've got the educational component, we have a mentoring component, it's a great networking opportunity for the girls as well to meet other artists that they can collaborate with, open up for each other for their shows, share musical ideas, as well as other people in the industry. And then aside from the artists, we also have volunteers who work with us, so it's a great opportunity for them, um, not in the same way in terms of being on stage and singing, but also to meet other people who are interested in the music industry um, and gain some practical, hands-on experience as well in event management and that sort of thing. So, so in terms of the selected contestants, oh, what? No, contestants. It's not a competition. It's not a competition. No. no. Okay. We have I would... prizes, but it's not based. There's not any overall Honey Jam winner. So there's a production prize where a producer comes down and just sees who he might like to work with, but it's not based on their performance. And then we pick a prize just by random um, to give them a, somebody, one of the artists, a special prize. But it's not like idol or anything like that. So there's no judge Out of the few that were selected, what really stood out to the judges that made them the ones selected for the actual show? The it factor, <laughs> the indescribable it factor. So somebody comes on the stage and immediately they have your attention. Stage presence. You can't buy it, you can't train somebody to have it. Either you have it or you don't. So that's the very first thing as soon as a person gets on the stage. Then they have to open their mouths. Can they sing? Then can they work the stage? Because some people can sing but they have their eyes closed or they're looking down or they're shuffling around. So you want to have confidence, you want to have command of the microphone and command of the crowd. So I think those are, are the main things that will catch the eye of the judges. Um, so you have talent, you have stage presence, um, and you have command of the stage. And then the, the, the type of um, song that you do, that you find a way to make it your own. So if you're doing a cover, you're not mimicking someone else. Everybody hates karaoke. We're not interested in that. You have to make the song your own. Has anyone taken you by surprise specifically? Um, that you're willing to share? <laughs> yeah, a lot of times at the audition, someone will come on the stage and you will judge a book by its cover. You know, the, just like you know what happened with Susan Boyle, <laughs> right? Um, they're dressed a certain way, they look a certain way, and you have an expectation of what they're going to sound like, and then a voice comes out of them that you never expected. So I think that happens every year. Uh, we're, we're surprised. Sometimes we're pleasantly surprised, sometimes we're unpleasantly surprised. Because many times a girl will come on, she'll be beautiful, she's got her style and all happening, she's really cute, and you want her to be so good and you're pulling for her, and then she's horrible. And you, you, 
you think, okay, well maybe it's just me, and you wait to see what all the other judges say and all the other judges say, she's horrible. <laughs> what do you think they'll be gaining from this experience? Wow. The experience, having the experience itself, um, the amazing contacts that they're going to make, uh, being a part of the Honey Jam family, which is a forever thing. Once you're an alumni, that's a forever thing, and membership has its privileges. Um, and I hope that all of them will uh, step up their game, be inspired by the other artists that are there, and I look forward to attending some Juno and Grammy parties. <laughs> What can we expect from next year's Honey Jam? Is there anything new in the works? We'd love to do another compilation CD. We'd love to do a tour. We'd love to do a clothing line. Um, it all takes money and support, and we're trying to really impress people with this show so that they will come on board the Honey Jam train and help us to grow and to thrive. Everyone is listening. To is there any advice that you would like to give aspiring women in Canada? So, for young women in any profession that you want to do, be clear in your head about what you want to get out of it. Be prepared to do what's necessary. Find out what type of education that you need. Find someone to mentor you. Have a good work ethic. Don't be afraid to ask questions. There are no dumb questions. Educate yourself, surround yourself with people who know more than you. Have integrity and respect for yourself. Those things run across the board. Specifically for artists, I always tell them, don't do this unless you cannot not do it. Unless you've got such a fire in your belly that you cannot imagine yourself doing anything else because it's not easy. It's a lot of work. You're gonna face a lot of rejection. You need to have that uh, intestinal fortitude, is what they call it. <laughs> that backbone, that passion, that's gonna drive you through any of the valleys and help you get to the peaks. So just understand what the business is. It's not a lot of just fun times and makeup and photo shoots and traveling. It's a, it's a grind. It's a lot of work. There's a lot of great stuff about it, but there's a lot of behind the scenes. So have a reality check and be prepared. We, we always support a women's charity. We've been working with the YWCA for the past few years. So it's just all good. Come be a part of Honey Jam. <laughs>